We've seen how Notebook for iPad is as flexible as paper, with multi-font text, shapes, diagrams, and sketches, and even sticky notes. And we've seen how the Notebook metaphor helps us keep our notes organized even when we have lots of them. So how do we find a note when we need a particular one? Most note-taking apps include a simple find feature. With Notebook, you locate notes quickly using its patented multi-dex. Let's go to the multi-dex. The multi-dex is a collection of pages at the back of every notebook that helps you find things based on what little you remember about them. The text page is a list of all the words in use in the notebook. So if I've been adding notes all day and I need to find one of them but I don't know where it is, but I remember it mentioned the word darkness, I can see here on the text page that there are two items that contain the word. And if I tap the word, I see all the items that contain it. And if I tap one of these items, Notebook takes me to wherever it lives in the notebook. If I'm looking for a name, I might see it on the capitalized words page. Numbers are indexed. Internet addresses, so emails and URLs too. The highlighters page refers to a feature in Notebook for the Mac that hasn't been added to the iPad version yet. Keywords are indexed. You can tag items with keywords and then come here to see all of the items that have a particular keyword. Same idea for stickers. Under To Do Items, anything with a checkbox will appear on this page. Creation dates, so everything I added to this notebook on a particular date. Same idea for change dates. And for due dates. And then Superfind also refers to a feature in the Mac version that hasn't yet made it to the iPad. Now one more thing to show, if I rotate the iPad to landscape mode, Notebook goes into a two-page display. I can drag the shadow here to change the size of the pages. If I tap the staple to connect the pages, actions I take on one page affect the contents of the other. For example, if I tap a page here in the contents page, that page will appear on the right side. Finally, if I touch and hold the staple, I get an option to show consecutive pages. So that as I turn pages on one side, the other side always shows the next or previous page. 